Roger from Roger Beef Food. I'm here to uh, give you a quick idea of how to make your own food and it will also give you an idea of what I do with my food. Um, this is a, a basic formula. Uh, the food that I do uh, has a little uh, more uh, preparation on it. I do get uh, uh, a few of the ingredients get prepared in advance. Uh, but this uh, formula for homemade is perfect and uh, we're gonna you know talk about a little bit of, of the ingredients that we use uh, one of the main ingredients about 80% of the, of the formula is gonna be uh, uh, shrimp I like to use uh, if at all possible wild caught shrimp that is uh, a shrimp that it has not been processed or uh, you know uh, farm raised and the reason for that is that I, I believe that it has better qualities as far as nutrition and it hasn't been uh, uh, processed with uh, uh, foods that may be you know, bringing extra stuff into your tank that you don't want. Um, so basically, um, I already have the, cu the, the shrimp uh, cut and, uh, I'm sorry, peeled and clean and basically you can do it by hand, like I'm doing here, or you can just uh, put it in a food processor and uh, chop it. Right now, all these pieces of shrimp are gonna go here. So as you see, I already went ahead and, uh, and processed a few of them for you. Um, the next ingredient that we're gonna have is uh, garlic. Um, Normal fresh garlic is what I like to use. I don't like to use uh, garlic extracts or garlic oils. Uh, normally, if you find yourself at the supermarket a uh, garlic press like this one, uh, it becomes really, really easy to process. And it's basically, that's it. Uh, I'll do a couple more for you so you can see them. Real simple, just put them inside, you press them, hard to come out the other way. And this garlic here is the one that you're going to use in your food. I'm using about two tablespoons of garlic on about 10 pounds of uh, shrimp. Uh, next ingredient that I have is going to be the squid. So I'm using only tubes uh, in this, uh, for this uh, exercise here, for this video. Uh, but you can use a uh, normal squid that has the um, um, legs on it as well. Uh, same cut as with the shrimp. You're gonna dice it really, really small. You know, a squid is one of those uh, animals that is hard for fish to bite on unless it's cut really really small however if you have uh, triggers or larger angel fishes uh, you can leave them you know as big as this dice uh, and, and, they, and they can eat them readily uh, but for the purpose I have already per, uh, processed uh, some of them uh, into like a very very small dice and I'm gonna add that to the formula now Get this clean. We'll put this quid over here. My next ingredient is going to be the octopus. And for this, I'm very particular about getting um, small octopus. Uh, you can find them also as baby octopus. Uh, they have this variety. Uh, and they also have a variety that is much smaller. Either one will work fine. Um, I like this one here. Uh, it cuts really easy, as you can see. It's really simple to work. And you can dice it. Again, this is another one of those ingredients that you can keep it as large as you want if you have large fish or you have to go really small if you have smaller fish. Again, I have already processed 
some of my octopus and I'm gonna go ahead and put the octopus into the into the mix. If we start mixing this, these are gonna be uh, the clams and the mussels. Uh, these clams and mussels, um, normally I like to uh, use them you know, fresh. Uh, I give them a little uh, freeze just to be able to open them quick and use a sharper knife to be able to get them into the mix. They're very easy and very delicate to work with, but you gotta be careful when you open them. Again, this is gonna be finely diced. Let me do it the other way. And that's gonna be on your mix. Normally, I will do about six. Uh, of those clams and about six of these mussels which they were already put in the mix you work the mussels the same way dicing them really small and putting them in your mix so that would be a, a um, as far as a very basic formula that will probably work fine for most fishes. Uh, I like to enrich it a little more by using a product uh, that is called Celcon. Uh, it's made by American Marine. And uh, this product here adds vitamins and it also adds amino acids into the formula. So, a few squirts of this in the food. Mix again. You're all set. Uh, the other item that I like uh, using on this is cyclopes and um, cyclopes is a, a phytoplankton that has been uh, freeze dried. Uh, normally, I will dissolve it in water, like you see here, and add a little bit of it to the mix. starting to see the food changing colors to a orangey red color from there um, this is a, a piece of leaf of aloe vera and I'm going to show you how to uh, cut this. I'll cut the ends off. And basically what you want to get out of here is just the gel. Which is this area over here. And I have already uh, cut some of it in advance for you. Let me show you how it comes out. So now you have your gel. You can either uh, put this on a blender or you can also dice it. Um, for the video, I'm just gonna quickly dice it. But normally, what I like to do is put it in a blender so you get a consistency, like more liquidy. And put some of that in the food as well. 
aloe vera has um, many, many advantages to put in the food. One of them is that it provides um, the basic building blocks for uh, keratin, which is one of the ingredients that the fishes uh, uses for the scales. And you know how you know how, how important scales are uh, for the fish. You know it's the way of protection. So basically, the aloe vera gives them the ability to reproduce scales and maintain them. Uh, I think it's a great product for the food, and I use it in all my uh, formulas, except for the coral signature uh, blend. That one doesn't have aloe or garlic, for that sake. Okay, so that would be a normal um, formula right there. That would be basically a complete blend. If you were to uh, add anything else to this, uh, it will be uh, into the complete blend plus. And I have a few more ingredients that go into the complete blend plus. One of them is scallops. And this one's, uh, I like to use the ocean scallops, which is a little bigger. Um, these are very easy to uh, dice. Uh, you don't need to do much to them. The fish do not um, have a problem biting into this. Any fish can bite into scallop. But I got some already that I already processed here. So that would be. Um, the plus formula uses scallops. The next ingredient in the plus formula is lobster. And lobster is one of those ingredients that it's basically a uh, option. Um, I like to use it on the plus formula. I think it does make a difference to that formula. Um, and I'm going to get ahead and add it to it. Basically, the lobster, you can, you know, uh, buy the tails and uh, just uh, slide it right through the middle. Once you uh, open them up like this, you can just uh, stick your finger and pull the meat out on both ends. And grab it by the tail, pull it out, and there you go. Those are your uh, lobster meat. You can use this. Looks like this is going to be dinner for me. That was good. Alright, so now that we're going to mix this. I'm going to add a little more of the, of the rest of the uh, Pretty much that is it. From here, you have uh, several options. You can uh, pack it into bags and uh, freeze them in a flat pack, or you can uh, put it into ice cubes. Uh, maybe uh, you can find uh, small little ice cube trays uh, at Target or Walmart, uh, ones that do for uh, cocktails, or you can use. Uh, you know, sit block bags like this, and then just pack it. All right, so if you wanted to pack it, uh, grab a bag, grab a few spoons of your, uh, of your food. Around here. 
and then you will grab this and freeze it. And that is um, probably one of the best foods that you can give to your fish. Uh, it will always be fresh if you put it in the freezer, try to get a uh, freezer uh, style bag of Ziplocs, so they're a little thicker and they don't allow uh, freezers to burn the food. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, <laughs> write me at info at rogersreefood.com. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. <laughs>